first of its kind caste discrimination ban in Seattle is historic in the US. Seattle has become the first city in the United States to explicitly ban caste discrimination. The legislation was introduced by Kasama Sawant, Seattle's only socialist and Indian American council member. The new policy will ban discrimination based on caste in employment, public housing, and education. Under the law, those who experience discrimination based on caste can file a case against those who discriminated against them. The Seattle Office for Civil Rights will enforce the law and handle complaints related to caste discrimination. The measure applies to all forms of caste discrimination, crossing religious and national boundaries. Several activists and human rights groups cheered when the Seattle City Council unanimously passed the new measure. However, um, one, not, not everyone was convinced that the policy was necessary. Among them was Sarah Nelson of the Democratic Party, who warned that the measure could hurt South Asians and generate more discrimination against them. She also described the new ordinance as a quote unquote, reckless, harmful solution to a problem for which we have no data or research. So, I mean, it's kind of incredible, you know, that my, my native city has been the first one to usher in this legislation. And a lot of activists are very hopeful that this will serve as a template for um, other cities to adopt similar ordinances. Um, this sounds good. I like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand the signs people are holding. What the hell is oh, this? Oh, it's because she's a socialist. I told you when we talked about her before that I have a bone to pick with Kasama Sawant. It's because she's a full-blown socialist. I would called her a psychosocialist before. I know, but why would you hold a sign saying fight oppression, fight capitalism in something that is about caste? Um, because she talks about the intersection of caste oppression and the tech sector, which is where um, other historical, not historic, but like there's an issue with Cisco and San Jose that's going on. There's been some things going on at Apple, da, da, da. Um, and so she talks about in the context of the tech sector. She has a bone to pick with the tech sector. She, okay, but the tech sector oh is God. not capitalism. Caste system. Don't tie get cast. Don't tie your dirty caste system with capitalism. Why is it like that's your that's your disgusting culture? It has nothing to do with capitalism. Thank you very much. Like capitalism came from Western countries. The caste system came from, well, this one at least came from India. Don't from mix South them Asia. together. South Asia. Don't mix them together. That's your dirty stuff. I mean, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're fixing your dirty, like cleaning your dirty laundry, but don't mix it with our clean laundry. Capitalism is what's making- she thinks of it as our, our quote unquote, dirty laundry if you're no, going to be not, collectivist <laughs> this is what the whole point do you know why do you know why you live in a country where you could fight caste system more effectively than in india because mm. it's a capitalist country because it's a capitalist country oh. i'm sorry yes it's it has become economically rich enough for it to be able to care about fighting oppression the reason why oppression is a bigger deal in India is because you're poor. It's because you're poor. So you have other priorities. So capitalism will get you to a point where you can start thinking more about people being oppressed rather than having food in your belly. I'm sorry. So don't mix these two together. That's your, that's your Indian problem, okay? That's your Indian problem. I mean, I, mean, I appreciate you trying to fix this Indian problem, but don't start blaming it on this Western, not even a problem, a, a Western blessing. Don't, we, don't blame your Indian problem on a Western blessing. Okay, okay. That's what, the, learn from Dr. Ambedkar. Okay, Dr. Dr. Baba, he got it right, okay? He wasn't blaming the West, he called out the caste system. He wasn't blaming Western concept for that. He was like, this is disgusting stuff. And it's, it's Hinduism, it's not capitalism, it's Hinduism. And he knew it, and he hated it. He also liked Western ideas, 
And he, he, you, the, the doctor here, he understood that Western Enlightenment values are good for India. He just also understood that Indians are too anti-Western for them to accept it. So he right. he rebranded them as Buddhism because yep. people were so anti-Western because of their justified belief, because of their experience with colonialism. So he had to sweeten the pill for them to make it easier to swallow. So he took the Western Enlightenment values, he called it Buddhism, and then voila. But yeah. Basically. God damn it. I have yeah. not heard you talk this way in a long time. Mm. I know you like it. That made me a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I love that it was an attack on capitalism that brought that out of you. Oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah. You can... Of all things. Yeah. Yeah. This, it's, it has saved the goddamn world. Like, why are <laughs> fuck, fuck capitalism. Fuck you. <laughs> Like seriously, like this is, is has brought people more people out of poverty than anything else. It has it has fed more people than you people realize, and you're comparing it with something that has discriminated people. It has it's, nothing has lifted people more out of poverty than capitalism. You ungrateful! Oh my god. Anyways, Armin, I you should I was, see the I was ready to... that Kasama Sawan. You should see the rants that she has against Amazon because it would make your brain melt. I was ready to celebrate this news. Though, like anti cast with the picture of Doctor Ambedkar. I'm ready to go. Like then I scroll down a little bit. Like what to the hell? If 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 India has any economy. And look at the people, like we have our own Prometheus who've been believing in this stuff like that. This is why they don't let you in Elysia, okay? Because this is why this is why they tie you to a rock and torture you, okay? Because, <laughs> this, no, seriously, the India's economy was in the toilet when they were trying to do command economics, control everything from the top down. They have to literally come save India's economy with capitalism before it was lifted into something that could be like this is why you're so behind India. This is why China is taking is eating your lunch. Okay, because they opened their markets and you didn't. You guys were like trying to micromanage everything. And they're like, fuck capitalism. Yeah, well, you're fucking Indian people. I mean, not literally. You're like you're betraying the Indian people because you you're not like opening your markets as much as you can and you're not freeing your economy. This is the only reason why you know this government as as fascist as it is, at least economically, is trying to make it more free. Yeah, anyways. By the way, I think we're gonna Prometheus is rethinking his membership right now. He became a member and he this guy's a commie. This guy's a commie. And he became a member today. And he was like, I'm not supporting this channel anymore. <laughs> so I think it's like I think he's regretting his membership very much. <laughs> so. Okay. So. <laughs> it's anyway. so hilarious. Asian American is saying it's communism with Chinese characteristics. You Abraham <laughs> McKeithen. <laughs> oh my god. Way to ruin a good news. Well, no, like, you remember you wanna... last week when we were talking about this, yeah. the introduction of it, and I was like, this sounds good, but I have my hesitations because I have a bone to pick with this particular city council member. Yeah. This is why. Well, you know what? Even if you want to be dumb enough to be anti-capitalism, okay, can you not do it on a separate movement or protest than when you're going anti-caste? Like, at least can you not, like, separate them so us capitalists can get behind what you're doing because we're also anti-caste? Can you not do, like, be anti-caste on one day and anti your anti-stupid anti-capitalism on another day so that we don't have to be like, what the hell is this? We wanted to support this because it's anti-caste. And now we have, like, we're getting behind these commies doing their commie crap. 
and you know with the with the anti oh my god it is gonna um alienate some people yeah definitely yeah. a lot yeah especially especially a lot of indians who are anti-caste in america because you know who you know who takes beautiful beautiful advantage of capitalism indian americans western indians Indians in Canada, United States, and Europe, they do, they are the top of their game in Seriously, the universities. They're crushing the it out here. They're crushing it. They're like in the tech industry and in the universities, they're out competing everybody. So, you know, who knows how to do capitalism if you don't tie their hands? Indians, Indians know how to do capitalism right. We've seen them what, what they're capable of. What they're capable of when you don't bind their hands, when you let them loose, they crush it. They're crushing it. They are crushing it more in Europe and North America than they do in India, because India doesn't provide the same environment for them that as much as North America. You know, so they have the potential. Just let them loose. And yeah, you're so yeah, you're alienating the Indians who might also be anti caste because most Indians are okay with capitalism, as I have seen. Oh, yeah, Secular Sekai just gave us a super chat saying, gonna gift memberships and everybody turn giftings on. Oh, yeah, guys, if you want to receive gifts as mem um, you know, membership gifts, because sometimes people buy gifts, the only way you receive it is you turn on the options for you to receive membership gifts but yeah so thank you so much for the super chat and also the membership gift secular sakai um oh wait hold on we had a oh gaijin american is using his 14th month membership celebration to ask is there a dollar ceo is there i'm sure there is i'm pretty sure I there is know. i mean there's a there's a lower caste prime minister so there's that. Uh, and also got a 40. And also the president in India is Adivasi. Oh, wow. So both it's the president and the prime minister. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's BJP. But not Dalit, BJP. though. Yeah. Uh, Noma just gave a super chat saying, both of you guys look cute today. Oh, oh. my God. Thank you. Wait, how, which way do I have to turn? Give you a very Charlie Ang Charlie's Angels <laughs> look right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, also, Soha is using the hashtag Dalit Lives Matter. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> oh, people are loving that. We're like, oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's move on. I got really, I wasn't expecting to get angry over Anta, you know. I thought this was Yeah, that was news. a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, guys. Okay, just to be clear, okay, I was, um, I'm talking about people's culture, okay, when I was like, I was talking about <clears throat> bad culture, I was in generalizing, okay, um, just in case some people might be thinking in the live chat. That you know, every every country has bad culture and good culture. Okay, um, when I ident when I go to a country and identify its bad culture, I just want to be very clear that I'm not talking about the entirety of that cult uh, that country. Um, Iran has horrible culture and good culture. India has horrible culture, like the caste system, and good culture. United States has horrible culture and good culture. Okay. You know, so for example, the United States has republicanism, which is horrible, right? Um, so just remember that every time I'm talking about, I, I'm identifying a country's bad culture, I am not generalizing it, um, and I'm not dismissing all the good culture, and I'm also not dismissing all the activists, all the amazing activists in that country that are fighting, that are trying to make their country a better place by fighting their bad culture. There is no country that doesn't have bad culture, okay? And also every country has activists within that country that is trying to make their country better, 
And me, uh, you guys, the people who are dismissing the existence of bad culture within the country are not doing the country a service. They're just trying to save the image of the country, but in but the cost is actual progress. The only way to progress for a country is to identify the problems with it, which is fine, right? Which is fine, right? So capitalism is something that I identify about uh, that is good that come out of West, but that doesn't mean that I think everything from the West is good. You know what else came from the West? Communism. Communism. <laughs> So the thing that I'm hating the most, that is also Western, okay? It's a German, so people think it's Russian. It's German. Communism is German, okay? Do you know what else is German? Yahtzeeism. <laughs> Yahtzeeism. Yahtzeeism is German, okay? So Western culture, you guys, I think, like, I have a hard-on for Western culture. No. It's just capitalism. It it's like, <laughs> It's... it's Enlightenment values, okay, that comes from the West, which I pretty much I like, okay, and capitalism, which is also kind of part of the Enlightenment values, right? But I also hate Western culture. Yahtzeeism, which is code for what you know, and communism, that's also Western culture. And I hate it. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's actually the most, the best culture that I like and values that I like comes from the West. And the worst ones, the worst ones also come out of the West. So yeah, so I'm not, I'm like, if you guys think that I'm sometimes joking around and people might think that I have like a Western superior attitude, I was just like triggering some people. I don't mean it like that. Just one. Well, you get so heated sometimes in the moment. I think those nuances aren't clear to people. So it's good to reiterate. And Prometheus is saying, say fascism, not communism and crime. No. Communism is fascism, my friend. No, I mean, even if it's not, even when I mean, even when communism doesn't lead to fascism, I still it's the it's not the tyranny. I mean, I hate fascism, okay, but my main, main problem with the communism is not the eventual tyranny that sometimes happens. It's actually the economic, the economic policies. So it is actual communism that I hate, right? People think when I say communism, I'm thinking about Stalin and Mao. No, I'm not. I'm thinking about command economics. All right. So, excuse you. Yatsism is American. True, true, it's true. It, it originated from America. It's Western. It's Western. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Armin and Susanna rant hour. That's basically what this show is. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's move on. Oh, we got a super chat. We almost missed it. Where is it? Oh, here. Oh, um, June. Donish mm -hmm. gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Thank you very much, Donish. That's very sweet. And saying just wanted to second what Newman said. Okay. Wait, what did Newman say that we're second? He said that very cute today. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's now more sweet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, boy. Thank you, guys. That's very sweet. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says, get our free blasphemous art.